Video of Rudy Giuliani's run-in with a Staten Island grocery store employee is trending today, not because of what happened in the video, but because of Giuliani's ridiculous lies about what took place. This is the security footage of the event. Although the footage doesn't contain audio, police reports indicate the grocery store employee said, what's up scumbag, you're going to get women killed. It's important to note this video was taken after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, and tempers across the country were beginning to boil. You see, Giuliani is a Republican who, despite commemorating the Roe v. Wade decision while he was governor of New York and donating six times to Planned Parenthood, now says his previous views of abortion were very childish and immature, and that after a long, torturous, intellectual, and emotional, and moral situation, that he no longer supports a woman's right to choose. But to put Giuliani's decision-making process in perspective, our nation's democracy was attacked the last time he had an intellectual, emotional, and moral situation. So, yeah, he is a scumbag who makes decisions based on what empowers him politically. The people be damned. After the pat on the back, the Giuliani circus wasn't over. Giuliani oozed his way out of the grocery store, leaving trails of fresh hair dye in his wake, and went on the radio to let the world know of the vicious attack he had just endured. First and foremost, he started with the most critical information about his visit to the grocery store. I come here, first thing I have to do is I, got, I have to use the men's room. So I get out, I walk to the men's room, I come out of the men's room, a group of people are around me, hugging me, kissing me. Vital stuff there, Rudy. Thank you for sharing your close human-to-human -human contact after your bowel movement. Then we get to the pat. And all of a sudden, I feel a shot on my back. Like somebody shot me. That's right. This 78-year-old drama queen con man was brutally executed in the grocery store. And here's Giuliani's account of what was said. I look around and the guy says words I can't repeat. You effing whatever. And then he goes on and on and on, yelling and screaming. He moves away, yelling and screaming uh, things like, you're going to kill babies, your people are going to kill babies, uh, not babies, you're going to kill women, you're going to kill women. Rudy can barely remember what happened. Babies? Babies. No, no, women. But insists that the grocery store employee was either drunk or high, and not the other way around. Uh, he looked either drunk or high. He works for... Shop right, and I thought to myself, I might have ordinarily ignored it. I said to myself, I got this guy arrested. Rudy Giuliani's brain is melting. Giuliani then goes on to complain that it's happening too much because this is going on too damn much, and these Democrats get away with everything. Which can only mean one thing that whenever Giuliani goes out in public, he is heckled which is a silver lining with anything involving Rudy. The icing on the top is in this next clip where delusional Giuliani exudes his inferiority complex for being so out of shape and so old that he talks about violently fighting the employee over the pat on the back. Yeah, and, and he's lucky that I'm a public official, a former public official with discipline, because, you know, even at my age, I think I could have taken him out back and taught him a lesson. Giuliani is so embarrassed and such a snowflake that his response to a grocery store staffer shaming him in public is to call the police, have him arrested, then go on the radio to delusionally talk about wanting to beat him in the streets. To summarize, Rudy Giuliani overreacted to a man patting him on the back and falsely claimed that it shows Democrats are getting away with murder and not actually what is happening that mega Republicans are con artists who will twist you up in knots with lie after lie if it suits them and their pursuit of power. Which reminds me, Reflect is live streaming every January 6th committee hearing on the channel. So subscribe if you haven't yet to get notified when the next hearing is live and for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and your reflection down in the comments below. You can follow me, Brendan Plank, over at Twitter and watch more from Reflect like the videos here on the screen. Thanks for watching this one, and I will catch you in the next video.